All right, children, here's my latest contraption. You're going to be proud, no doubt. Okay, so there's my handmade forge. It's a brake drum sitting in an ash bucket. Got some flex tubing running, a bathroom fan. Got a couple pieces of spring, uh, leaf spring in there. I just cut those up with cut harder than how. Um, definitely some sparks that indicated high carbon, so that's cool. So I think that seven gun is working well. A little homemade forge. That drum, I got lucky fit exactly inside that bucket. The bucket I can touch. So I mean it's hot. Tube's cold. But we'll see what it does. Pretty cool. Alright, so that little piece has been in there maybe ten minutes. That son of a bitch is hot. Almost late. It's freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Big piece is still a little tempering. I want them to temper. They're pretty hard steel right now. Hammer's pretty easy. That was nice and hot. That's awesome. Oh, it's been about maybe 20 minutes and that big piece is red hot. I'm burning out on charcoal here a little bit, but... That's a big hot piece of steel. I'm going to go about it. I need some more charcoal. That's it. Okay, so I'm still working on that small piece. I had to uh, dampen down my fan. It was blowing too much. So that small piece that I cut, the large piece, I just heat it up red hot and let it cool slowly so I can cut it up hopefully a little easier. And that small piece, I've actually drawn out now into this knife. Pretty damn close to a knife, so that little piece, and it's still pretty damn thick. So that uh, little piece did a lot. So I'm probably going to get maybe 50 knives out of that stupid leaf spring. I don't know, 20 knives anyway. If I just cut an inch off horizontally and get a nice looking knife out of it, so it's got to be 30, 40 inches in the thing. So very, very cool, and the, that forge is working really well. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. That's not expected. That'll put a damper on things. How do you like that? Only me, man. It only happened to me. But anyway, I thought it would be a quick shower. It just stopped. But boy, I'll tell you, it came down like a son of a gun. So, with my new rig, it was worked out pretty cool. I just grabbed the fan and uh, brought it underneath the cover here and because I use an ash bucket, which I hope isn't 
galvanized underneath there. Um, I just put the lid over the coals to keep them from going out. We had ourselves a dang good gully washer. And then there's water everywhere. Well, we'll give it a minute and we'll do go back out there. Well, because I bought the expandable pipe, which I'm glad I did, and it hasn't melted yet, I was able to stretch it right into the tent so I can get the fire going again but keep the electrical stuff out of the rain. I think there's a, you know you're a redneck if joke in here somewhere. That lump charcoal sparks a lot. But it seems to be doing a better job than the briquettes did. So it's good. We keep working. Why not? It's a good day to have a waterproof camera. That is one awesome gorge. There's no doubt about it. I have to work quick because my anvil's wet. I'm working on the taper of the knife right now. Set of tones. And a hammer that isn't broke. Boy, I'll tell you, if this isn't one half-assed operation. I don't know what is. It's looking really good, though. It really is. I don't think you can see it in the dark. It's looking good. Alright, so this is a piece of leaf string spring that I cut off. I don't know, it's not quite a foot long, 10 inches long. And I brought it up um, to almost white hot and then I let it cool slowly. So I'm hoping that tempered it to the point where I can cut it a lot easier. Because I, I went through about a, almost a full cutoff blade just cutting off the three cuts that I made. But anyway, I cut off a piece probably about that wide, maybe an inch. I would say about an inch wide and I drew out that into this knife so I mean if one inch in length produces a halfway decent knife like that I mean that's nice that's a knife, n nice neck knife nice skinny knife I have quite a bit of tang left get over in white um, I probably could have drew it out a little bit more and uh, probably added another inch or two easily to this to this blade but uh, I got the taper down it isn't exactly perfect but I I think at this point I'll go ahead and um, call the forging done and I'll hit it with the sander and bring it to um, to a shape so that uh, was let's see what time is it seven o'clock so in less than three hours, probably more like two and a half hours, including rain delays. Not only did I make a forge, cut the steel, I was able to forge out this knife. So I think that uh, with two or three knives going at the same time, I can probably forge out a knife a heck of a lot better than this. This could spend a little more time. Um, in less than an hour per knife if I were doing three or four at the same time so uh, let me try go ahead and see I, I didn't uh, harden this or anything but I'll go ahead and see if I can get a spark off of this from the uh, the uh, fire stick and that's the knife 
it's a good it's a good knife it's a good size knife so i like it so even though the knife's not you know i don't even have a good edge on it i haven't filed it i haven't shaped it or anything like that I haven't even tempered it or uh, hardened it um just to try this on the fire stick getting good sparks so I wasn't able to do that with any of the other steel that I've used so far yep coil spring or uh, leaf spring I think it's 1085 steel and uh, I think we're gonna have a pretty darn nice knife out of that and like I said that coil spring was probably 48 inches long so if an inch makes each one of these knives I mean I'm, I'm gonna be able to make 20 or 30 knives out of that I think I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do whether I'm gonna keep going crossways with it or if I'll cut it long ways and get a little bit more knife out of it. If anybody has any suggestions, this is a really nice small bushcraft knife. Um, I think if I can, I can stretch that out another inch without sacrificing the widths that I want. Um, I think maybe I can just take maybe an inch or maybe an inch and a half and be able to pull out a, a really nice knife. So I'm quite pleased with all the work that, that uh, well, every, how everything turned out today, especially with the new forge. Cool.